Hey everyone, thank you for enabling my puzzle hauls because guess what? I went out and bought more. Only today, these are puzzles that I wouldn't like normally buy. So this is a more unusual approach for me. So these may not be unusual for you guys. I know you guys are very into puzzles, but for me, this is not like any puzzle I've ever bought before. But don't worry. They're of course beautiful puzzles because that's what I do. I only like to buy beautiful puzzles. And of course, right now I'm on the Barnes and Noble beautiful puzzle kind of life. So stay tuned. For my first puzzle, it comes in a container like this. And it has a bag and I got the National Parks. It's a vintage puzzle. I don't really know what vintage puzzle means. Does it just mean that it comes in this? I don't know, I'll show you guys. Um, have you guys ever been to a national park? I've only been to one and it was Big Bend here in Texas. And it was pretty cool. Oh, there's like no plastic. That's kind of cool. Kind of how it should be, I think. Okay, I figured out how to open it. This is what the puzzle pieces look like. Nothing on the back. I recently saw that there are actually double-sided puzzles out there, so give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see me try one. But yeah, vintage puzzle, and I think vintage is just referring to how it's packaged. I don't know what else it would refer to. Oh, okay. And then this is, this is what the puzzle will look like. I don't even think they have Big Bend on here because it's like, I don't think people really know about it. So let me know which national parks you've been to. I wanna know. I really wanna go to, actually, I really wanna go to Montana. I wanna go to Glacier National Park. That's on my bucket list. So um, that is something I want to do in my life. Oh boy. So, beautiful puzzle number one, vintage puzzle. Again, something different for me, at least I think it's probably just the packaging though. Um, but it's a thousand pieces and it's Cavallini and Co. Never done a puzzle from them before, but it felt like high quality. So we like that. Okay, and the next two puzzles I have, they're the same type of puzzle. And they're both Gallison puzzles, which if you've watched previous videos of mine, you know, I do really like Gallison puzzles. I was even thinking about doing an entire haul of just Gallison puzzles. Um, I have an online cart ready to go, but just want to know if you guys want to see more of that. Okay, puzzle number two. It's a panoramic puzzle. Allison and this one is called plant life thousand pieces I've never done it before I am curious on how long it is actually I think it tells me yeah it does <laughs> tells me on the back 39 inches by 14 inches so that's about what I can expect all right well that answers that question but look how pretty it is I love colorful puzzles I love, like, I just, I love colors. So let's see. We know Gallison. We know what she looks like usually, but comes in this long bag. You can see lots of colors already. And then we have that. So excited to get that done. Plant life. All right. And my last puzzle is also a Gallison and also a panoramic puzzle. It's called Over and Under. And this is what that looks like if you need a closer look. Yeah, it looks like it's like a, a subways down below and up, up top is uh, like life living. Thousand pieces, same size, same brand. Beautiful, beautiful puzzle beautiful little insert 
Thank you guys for coming on this journey. I know I've been buying a lot of puzzles lately and I've been doing the puzzles. You can see it in my community tab. I've posted the puzzles that I've done. So I will continue to buy and continue to put them together. But let me know if you guys want more Gallison puzzles or if there's anything in particular you wanna see, I'm happy to do for puzzles. All right, thanks guys.